If Christopher Nolan ever made a horror movie, it would feel exactly like this. So let's get five minutes up on the board, and let's talk The Wailing. The movie opens with a quote from the book of Luke, and it does this to set the mood, and it does it perfectly. It asks the audience to get ready for the idea, how do you know that a ghost does not have flesh and blood? How do you even know what a ghost really is? The Wailing is a ghost story in a lot of ways, but it plays with this idea of you don't know what that actually means. And I would say that this is a perfect way to open it. As far as the plot, a cop starts to see a lot of different murders that are happening in the town. So it starts more like a detective story. And there's something strange because every person that commits these murders, they're, they're killing family members, killing people close to them, and they always seem to be stricken with some type of disease. And whenever the cop sees that his daughter is showing symptoms of this exact same disease, it goes from a cop detective story into a very, very personal story. And it starts to turn into a mystery whenever we realize there is a stranger in town who seems to have connections with all this stuff. And everything starts to become a lot more mystical. And that starts to introduce the idea of there's some type of spirit going on. And look... This is a haunting story. I would say The Wailing is a much scarier version of The Exorcist. It's two and a half hours long, and it needs that time. And that means that it is entertaining all the way through. And I think that it is because it is brilliantly told, like Alien, and it terrifies you on several different levels. Okay, first of all, on the surface level, we are dealing with suspense, jump scares, zombies, demons, ghosts, angels, shaman, murder, and actually a lot of comedy as well. There's a mystery level that goes through everything underneath, and it's talking about family, strangers, patients, children, and then there is a spiritual level below everything else that makes it so much more terrifying. Talking about things like betrayal, trust, ideology, arrogance, the mystery of the movie is what is really haunting because the mystery mirrors real life. And what I mean by that is, I mean, just think about how life is filled all the time with digging for answers. But in a lot of ways, you never feel like you get the full-on answer that you're looking for in life. You kind of always just end up with more questions. In the end, you just have to be more comfortable knowing what questions you have to ask. And this movie takes that way of life and emphasizes the fear and loneliness that's in that. By the movie creating that, it, it is asking the audience to be resigned to not always knowing the answers to a lot of questions. And this movie poses some huge questions in very, very entertaining ways. The director actually said that he wrote this movie after several close people died and they passed away not from natural causes. And he was constantly asking, why are all these terrible things happening? And that's what it's being asked all the time throughout this movie. And there's a fishing metaphor that carries that question through so much of this movie. Why in the world do you catch the fish that you catch? And the answer is it just happens. You don't know. In life, you never have all of the answers. And in a lot of ways, what the movie really gets at is that that's not the important thing because how you react to something terrible happening is what is most important. That tension throughout the whole movie, you don't have answers, but you need to make a decision. It hints at all this through Buddhism, through Christianity, through several different religions, and then through spirituality in general, the importance of having humility and needing to take a leap of faith. Because if you don't, it makes everything in life worse. And it shows it by seeing the consequences of not doing that. Thematically, it gets at this, like I said, through ideology, arrogance, and cowardice, really. And stylistically, the movie gets this tension across through such brilliant cross-cutting. Like, Christopher Nolan, he's mastered cross-cutting, but even he would watch this and be so, so jealous. It shows a level of trust in the audience to say, look, we're gonna give you a story that gets you to the 75% mark. And it's going to be so well told that you're going to have to fill in the remaining 25% on your own. It works on a surface level as a horror movie. If you end up wanting to go back through it and dig deeper into it, which it teases you to do, it's going to haunt you again and again. And I think that is why The Wailing is proof that the horror genre, I think, is the greatest genre in movies. It can connect with you at the deepest level, first by opening up an entertaining type of storytelling with things like zombies, ghosts, vampires, you know, the idea of a type of heaven or hell scenario that is very real, not, not metaphorical. It can do that and you don't think that it's being silly. And it connects you to those things with ideas rooted in philosophy, religion, spirituality, history. And I, I, The Wailing pulls all of this off. If any of this sounds pretentious, The Wailing pulls all of this off in such an entertaining way. And that is what makes The Wailing not only one of the best horror movies, it is one of the top 10 movies for me. There's the five minutes I was close to not getting 
into the five minute mark, but okay. If you like The Wailing, I would say you should also check out the movies I Saw the Devil, Burning, and First Reformed. These are movies that deal with very, very heavy subject matter using uh, very intense types of conversations, spirituality on one end, uh, pure religion on the other, and it does it with horror. Like, and, and in a way, it is not, these aren't religious movies. It just uses that as a tool to dig into some very scary ways. And I think that that's a care, you have to be very careful about that because it can make a movie so silly. But those are other movies that did the exact same types of things, pose the same types of questions. So thank you very much for watching. Check out The Wailing. Leave in the comments your thoughts on the movie, your theories on what happens, and subscribe to 5 Minute Critic for future updates on reviews and movie news.